God and to his throne. After he after he died, he was re he was resurrected. Forty days later, he was transfigured and went back to heaven with our Father. And don't don't forget the in the beginning the Word was God and the Word became flesh. John chapter seventeen says if Jesus Christ speaking, he says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. They're one and the same. Verse six. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred threescore days. Now we're transferring to the end times. See, this one thousand two hundred and threescore days is the exact amount of time that speaks about in the in the previous chapter, Revelation eleven, when it speaks of the two witnesses. And it's saying the woman fled into the wilderness. That's saying God always provides for us even in the worst of times when Satan is here claiming to be God. There's nothing to worry about when you know the truth. Verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. Once again, this is still future even to us. This is when Satan and his angels are cast down. The ten kings that he will bring with him are part of this group, and he claims to be God. Verse 8, and prevailed, and prevailed not. Of course Satan didn't prevail over God. That would never happen. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. God cast them out. Verse 9, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent, the old serpent from Genesis chapter 3, See, this, this verse is going to give you many roles of Satan. It's all one person, Satan, Lucifer, the serpent, the king of Babylon, the Assyrian. It's all him. These are all different roles that he plays. Okay, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world except for those who are written in the book of life. Those who know the truth about that the false one comes first. He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. In closing, turn with me to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. So we can really nail this down about how the false, how Satan comes claiming to be God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse 1, and it reads, Paul speaking, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto Him. He's saying, I want to talk to you about the coming of Jesus Christ and how it's going to happen. About us gathering back to Him. Verse 2. That ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, always test the spirits, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. See, so many people, the rapture doctrine, most people get it from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17. Because they forget to read the verses before, starting with verse 13. And all it's saying is that you, if you believe that Christ rose from the dead, then believe that all of those who have already died have risen also. They're not out here buried, that's their flesh body. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 6 and 7 says, The instant that you die... Your soul returns to our Father in heaven. All that's saying in that 1 Thessalonians 4 is that if you believe Christ rose, then you better believe that those which have died have risen also. We're not gathering back to Jesus Christ by our rapture. And it's even written that Jesus Christ is coming here. So what, you want to fly away? Where to? To hell? I don't think so. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day, the day of Christ's coming, shall not come except there come a falling away first. Now that word falling away in the Greek is apostasy. apostasy. And to apostatize is to forsake your religion. That means when you, when you worship Satan, when he's claiming to be God, you instantly stop, become, you stop being a Christian and you become a worshiper of Satan. You apostatize. You fall away. I'll start that verse over. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. 
Now, didn't we just learn in Ezekiel chapter 8, 28, verses 18 and 19, that was the death sentence of Satan? There's no other man sentenced to death. Yes, the fallen angels, the 7,000 fallen angels are sentenced to death also, but not by name. Satan is the only man sentenced to death by God, so there is no other person that can fulfill the role of the son of perdition. Verse 4 to complete this study. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do not fall for this false Christ who even, even back in the first earth age deceived a third of God's children right off the bat. Got him to worship him. The same is going to happen here coming in a probably a sooner time than most might think. Wait on the true Jesus Christ. Do not fall for Satan. And that's it for today. That was a good job, Jesse. Good job.